Data and Management Baidu Google How do these search engines rank the pages that match our searches? With an algorithm. PageRank, a little crawler that travels along and crawls web content, has paved the way to a world of algorithms. When will the notifications and recommendations invading your smartphone stop? You've blocked most of them, but those that make it through are seductive and relevant. The targeted advertising algorithm rekindles your interest and will take you to the end of the conversion funnel of buying. There are lots of requests on Uber this morning, so prices are increased in real time. The dynamic pricing algorithm, surge pricing, is active. Lookalike. You're looking for a book to buy on Amazon or a movie to watch on Netflix. So, you're given suggestions based on what internet users with a digital profile similar to yours have liked. The recommendation algorithm is active. Data. Algorithms and artificial intelligence have become pervasive in our society and in management practices. Why? How? Within what limits? A world of data. Every minute by clicking, hovering, following a link, publishing comments, data are created which, when cross-referenced, allow us to understand our behavior. Moreover, the size of the digital data universe is set to double every two years. The volume of data, which is massive, its variety, its velocity, initially decoding the human genome took 10 years. In 2018, it can be done in a week. Its value, when it is monetized in B2B or B2C, all make up the world of big data. Data mining and its methods, machine learning for data analysis, deep learning, establish patterns and predict our behavior as well as machine breakdowns. Technically speaking, anything is possible. With a camera placed at a store entrance, facial recognition technology calculates the satisfaction rate of customers as they leave by detecting smiles. Managing through data. Whereas you previously belonged to a socio-demographic segment, a group with the same socio-professional category, age, etc., today you are unique. You have a digital identity that can be targeted with one-to-one -one marketing. You, a manager, can better predict purchases and therefore optimize inventory. But even better, you can predict returns. In 2008, Zalando, one of the pure players in online sales in Europe, established free returns for products ordered online. By doing so, it reversed the logistics problem through reverse logistics centered around returns management. Based on its website consultation data, it developed a predictive model of returns flows to determine the returns platform most suited to future clients. Moreover, you can also identify the clients wanting to go to competitors to slow down your churn rate. Just cross-reference the last time they signed on to their customer space, the last date of their visit to the store, the keywords they put into search engines, and the predictive approach will help you deploy reactivation and loyalty campaigns. What are the limits to management through data? Three types of limits exist. Technological singularity. Could an explosion in artificial intelligence take place, surpassing human intelligence? We need to remember that algorithms actually learn more than they understand. They create cognitive biases that require leaving the manager's intelligence its due place. Decisions are made based on a combination of intuition, algorithms, experience. Garbage in, garbage out. If the data on your clients or prospects is poor quality, the algorithm will be poor quality. Establishing dialogue between pieces of data as well as between different company departments, for example, could consist in adapting a data management platform or instilling a sort of data socialization. Moreover, small data, that is, classic client data, transactional data from checkouts, data from loyalty programs, etc., retains its relevance. Social acceptability. The application of these targeting technologies has an impact on respect for privacy, and legislators have imposed limits on players in these industries. It is necessary to be able to demonstrate, by reverse engineering an algorithm, that it is accountable and that data collection by all of the devices deployed is ethical through privacy by design. Combining Business Protection and Privacy Protection Practices BATX, Gaffamy, a whole world of monopoly platforms. 
Facebook and Google are a duopoly that, by cross-analyzing their data, create the digital identity of each person. Does the dataization of our society raise issues around national digital sovereignty, around ethical business, around the free will of each individual in an algorithmic world? Let's try to comprehend all of these issues.